All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother lawyer, and I teach with the Great Millstone Nashville camp. Come back at a quick uh, with a quick lesson. I'm going to start this off with uh, Malachi. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me pull it up. Start this off with Malachi. All right. This is Malachi 4 verse 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, Said the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Salakia. Got to sneeze. Damn. <laughs> Salakia, I thought I had to sneeze. So anyway, as you see, what I uh, began this lesson off with is with, uh, this is an ancient uh, oven. All right, this is how an ancient oven worked, you know. And so many people will be. Like these branches that are, that are cast into this fire. Many people, especially uh, you Hebrew Israelites, whether you know that you're Israelite, whether you don't know, the Lord said he's going to start it. Uh, the, the judgment will start at his sanctuary first. So really, you know, all his people, but really beginning with uh, the ones of us that know what the deal is, so to speak. We know that we Israelites, right? We know uh, the judgment of the Lord, but you're not taking heed. You're not looking uh, at the prophecies, right? You're not watching for the prophecies. You're not teaching the the, uh, the one hundred percent, you know, uh, doctrine, right? You uh, you seeking vain glory, you know. You uh, you teaching for uh, for hire, you know. You teaching for money, right? You playing games. Many Israelites are playing games. All right, you're gonna be like this. You're gonna be just like this. All right. And uh, damn, Salakia. And then ultimately, this is what's going to happen, right? At the same time, <laughs> this oven will be uh, the states, all right, which you know as uh, Mystery Babylon or, or Babylon the Great, right? And it was called Mystery Babylon because John didn't know, you know, uh, what this country was, right? We know uh, the name of it today. We know how it was established. And, uh, and this is how it's going out in many other parts around the world. But but the greatest uh, uh, destruction will be here, you know, in, in Babylon the Great, you know, we'll, which we'll get into that uh, in, a, in, a, in a, you know, the latter part of this uh, sit down. All right. So it says, for behold, read it one more time, for behold, the day cometh. So it's going to come. right? It's, it's, it's surely going to come. Thou shalt burn them, uh, Salakia. Thou shalt burn as an oven, and all the proud. Who who's the main people that are proud? Alongside uh, uh, Esau, Edom, is you so called? <laughs> wow, well, I ain't gonna say that, but you know, you you nigger women, Jake. Period. Are, are proud as hell, in here uh, in in America in captivity, you know, especially here in America. You're very proud, all right? Yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that come shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that shall leave them neither root nor branch. So your your existence <laughs> won't even, you know, man, it's going to be like you didn't even live. But you did, you know? Let me read on down to, uh, and actually this goes into the elect. Yeah, I, I read verse 2. It says, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness, Yahweh Shai, arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. So, you know, uh, we're going to have a, a long life, you know, after this uh, first heavens and earth, I, I passed away, which, you know, I'm about to go into that. You know, really, this this destruction that's, that's going to happen. This is a form of, of uh, this first heaven, this first, this first earth passing away. Everything that was done on this side, 
will be done away with by by this by this uh cleansing agent you know by this fire you know all the wickedness you know the lord's gonna pay right back to the wicked you know and like i said fire is a cleaning agent you know so hey even uh you israelites y'all spirits are gonna be purified by that fire the, the elect gonna be tried by fire via hardships you know them not taking the the motb you know when when uh when he presented to us you know us standing stiffly for the for the word of yahweh by Hashem, yahweh shah right that's that's gonna be our uh, uh our fiery trial and let me let me pull something up while i'm talking about it uh Uh, let me see. I think it, I think it, no, let me see. Let me see real quick. Yeah. So this is first Peter two. I mean, uh, shit. <laughs> first Peter four and 12 to 14 says, be love. Thank you. Not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. As, as though some strange thing happened unto you. So, you know, technically, you know, in your everyday life, you know, uh, certain strange occurrences will happen. You be like, you know, damn, why is this happening? Why did my car break down? Why, you know, uh, why did I, you know, uh, shoot, I had this money saved up for a bill. Now I can't pay the bill. You know, like what's going on? You know, I I can give it an example, by, but I really can't. But, you know. Us that's in this truth, man. You you know what you go through on your on your you know your daily life. You're like, damn, why did this happen? What's going on, right? But in, in the midst of you going through that, that that you know through that fire, you you steadily you know uh, depending on your how why your how shy. You know what I'm saying you're not losing your faith like how most Jakes do. Verse thirteen says, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Mashiach's suffering that. When his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. So, right, so everything that you're going through, you know, it, it's going to be for a, a purpose, you know. And when your child come back, you know, uh, you, you stood stiffly, right? Uh, you didn't let no man take your crown. You're going to be, uh, you're going to be a part of his glory, you know, because scriptures also say that when we uh, shall see him, uh, we shall be like him, his body, his mindset. The, the immortality, right? So you're not going through all these different trials and tribulations in your life for nothing. Like how the, how the rest of uh, Israel think, you know? Israel just think that they here, you know? Not understanding that they, they really do have a bigger purpose. You know, and that, that purpose is either for you to be saved or you, you to be destroyed. And that, that's what it is. It says, if ye be reproached, for the name of Mashiach, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of the Most High rested upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. So, right, so the rest of Israel, you know, uh, they speak evil of the Lord. You know, uh, the things they go through, you know, uh, shoot, they, they, they talk shit, you know. And so, and a lot of them are proud. It goes into being proud. You know, they're, they're their own God and so forth. You know, they want the glorification, right? So anyway, let me go right back to uh, what I was in Malachi. Let me finish out with Malachi. I don't, uh, I don't mean to make this, you know, uh, a long lesson. Verse 3, And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, said the, the Yahweh of hosts. So the wicked, the Edomites, of the nations that put us in captivity, even even the wicked Jakes, they're gonna be ashes. Nothing and and you you can't rise from the ashes. Y'all not nothing rises from the ashes. All right, nothing. It's a lot of game to click on that. So anyway, let me uh let me get on with it. We go to Matthew fifteen. I mean uh ten. <laughs> This is Matthew 10 and 15, all right, and there's different versions. We're going to start with this uh, KJ 21, King James 21. says, Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. For what city? Hmm? What city? Are it? What city is this talking about? 
Hmm? This city, all right? This is that city that it's talking about. It's going to be more... It, it, Sodom and Gomorrah will, will be more tolerable, right? If you, could, if you could compare, right? If you had somebody wicked, you know, uh, just, just giving, you know, for an instance, right? Say you had America right, uh, right beside Sodom and Gomorrah. Say, um, you know, uh, that hellfire, right, that, that rained down on Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, somebody could give a comparison of how, of how hot that would be compared to what's coming. You know, uh, shit, that'd be like, well, I don't want to say that. But anyway, yeah, I don't want to say that. I don't, but anyway, this city is talking about here, Babylon, all right? Because how Babylon is going to go out, you know, uh, it's going to go out by, you know, 200 million, million, 200 million missiles, all right? Revelation 9, you can read that. Well, I ain't going to say what I was going to say. Anyway, it was another version that uh, that I had seen me going down. And it says, uh, where did it say? It says something about the Messiah's message. Damn, where is it at? Yeah, it says something about the Messiah's message. And I was like, whoa, okay. Uh, damn, where is it at? Oh, uh, really? Salakia. I thought it was. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, I don't know what AMP mean. I think it's American. Oh, Amplified Bible. Uh, I don't know what the P stand for. All right. <laughs> All right. So anyway, this is Matthew. It says 10 and 14 it says, whoever does not welcome you nor listen to your message as he leave that house or city. Shake. Oh, that's, oh yeah. Salakia. Yeah, that's what it says. Salakia. We started 15. He says, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, it will be more tolerable on the day of judgment for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah than for that city since it rejected the Messiah's message. Hey, and that's here in America, man, because when you really read the message of, of Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, it says that, you know, uh, he, he came for the Israelites. Let me get that. You got to get that. Uh, Matthew 10 and 5. I believe Matthew 10 and 5. Actually, let me, man, let me, hold on, let me start, start at 5 and going down. Damn. All right, so this is Matthew 10. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Matthew 10 and 5, Yahweh Shai sent out these 12, instructing them, do not go amongst the Gentiles, the actual heathens, right? And do not go into, into a city of the Samaritans, because at that time you had uh, Assyrians and so forth, members of other nations in the land of Samaria. Israel, the northern kingdom, the so-called Hispanics, Native Americans, Latinos, they were removed out that land, all right? And they was over here in the land of uh, uh, Arzareth, which is the Americas, all right? It says, but rather, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the Israelite foreigners, all right? And say, go, uh, Salaki, and say, you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is in hand. And another, and another word for preach is prophesy, all right? So, and that's, that's one message that uh, in America that's not taught. Uh, uh, John so loved the world, right? John three sixteen. The world, the word for world is uh, cosmos, which means a particular people, like the fashion world, you know, the world of music, so on and so forth. All right, so lock you. So uh, my bad, the baby. Uh, <laughs> my my next door neighbor, the kids and stuff started hollering and yelling. Had to go see what's going on. Anyway, <laughs> let me go right back to it. Salakia. <laughs> uh, so anyway, let me go right back on top and I'm ready to close this out. Baby was raising hell. Uh, <laughs> let me go to uh, Second Edris 16. And it says, uh, man. I started three. It says, a sword is sent upon you 
and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Right? Plagues are sent unto you, and and what is he that may drive them away? Right? So nobody can stop what's coming. No matter how many uh, uh, peace agreements you have, no one can stop what's coming because this is of the Lord. This is what the Lord wants. All right? There's something else to pop in my mind. Uh, I, think I, didn't, I didn't read Second Peter yet. Actually, let me go right here. This is, uh, let's go to Isaiah. You know, because uh, this fire is going to be sent by the way of uh, World War uh, Three. Matter of fact, let me see. <clears throat> Actually, let me get the King James Version, all right, real quick. All right, this is KJV. Let me see, let me see. Uh, man, all right, so this is Matt. Uh, well, I keep saying Matthew. All right, this is Isaiah 24 and 3. It says, The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord has spoken it, right? Uh, and ha and how, how will the land be emptied? By the way of the missiles. Listen, I said also uh, Jeremiah 50 or 51. I'm trying to get to, I'm trying to find the main point I want. Just bear with me. Where is it? It said that, uh, damn. So I ride to and fro like a drunkard. It was, uh, let me see. So like, oh, Isaiah, no, uh, I could have read Isaiah 24. Because it goes to talk about the, how the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. But it's really Isaiah 9. All right, so like it was Isaiah 9. And 6. I've seen a light. Let me see. All right, so it says, uh, Isaiah 9 and 2, it says, The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. That great light, are you seeing the prophets, right? You hearing this word, you know, you knowing that you're an Israelite, the prophecies, right? And ultimately, uh, you obeying uh, uh, the, the Lord's message, right? Like how that other version of, uh, of uh, damn, what it say? Um uh, the ones that rejected the, the Lord's message or, or the message of the Messiah, right? That's that light. The people that, that walked in darkness have seen a great light. And just like us, we walked in darkness, but we have seen that light, which is his wisdom, knowledge, understanding. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them have the light shine. That land uh, of the shadow of death is here in, in America. All right, this is the shadow, the valley of the shadow of death. All right? Let me go on down. It says, uh, verse 5, this is the, the main scripture I wanted. It says, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So this this next war that uh, that's coming, you know, it's going to be with burning and fuel of fire. And another scripture says that the Lord had, had mustard. Uh, let me see. Mustard. Mustard. The battle. I think I spelled that wrong. So the Lord is going to cause this battle, this, this fire, right? It says Isaiah 13 and 4, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts, uh, the Lord of hosts mustered the host of the battle. So, hey, the Lord's in control of all this. You know, these wars, all that, man. Man ain't doing nothing on their, on their own. Anyways, his plagues are sent unto you, and who and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away in hungry line, <coughs> Salakia, in the woods, or may any one quench the fire in the stubble, in what, or uh, may anyone quench the fire in stubble. When it had began to burn, may one turn again the arrow that is shot 
of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? Hey, so, you know, let me keep reading the verse. Let me go down to verse 11. It says, The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? Hey, just like I said in uh, Malachi uh, 4, it said that the wicked shall be uh, the ashes under our feet, right? Hey, right here it says, you know, and who shall not be who shall not be utterly beaten to powder his presence, which is the wicked, but the righteous shall, shall be spared. You know, it says the earth quaketh and the foundations are, uh, thereof, the sea ariseth up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are terrible, are, are trouble and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of, of his power. It says the earth quaketh. By the way, these missiles, you know, hey, but also when the chariots come, you're going to feel that energy. When the so-called UFOs come, verse 13 says, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that, that he shooteth are sharp, are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot to the ends of the world, which are the missiles. You know? And I want to make this too long. I got two more scriptures. This is 2 Peter 3 and 10. It says, But... But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. The evil, you know, the proud, all that, man, is going to be done away with. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye? To be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of, of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Hey, so that's telling you what's coming. You know, and this was talked about back in the day, but you know, what's it said? Missiles, they're referred to as arrows, you know. It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth wherein dwelling righteousness. So, hey, that's, that's what's coming after uh, the fall of Babylon, right? That's what's coming. The two-thirds, one-third shall be saved. Look at that chart. The two-thirds are, are, are more than one-third. The Israelite pie chart of salvation and destruction, you know? Uh, let me go back to it. Then I get ready to close this out. Actually, let me see if it's more. Uh, let's see. All right. So, uh, yeah, let me go on to Revelation 17. I, I get ready to close this out. It's Revelation 17. It says, and there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Right? That great whore is Babylon the Great. Right? And the waters are like unto people. You know? It says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have, have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication, which is the policies that America puts out. You know, all nations have benefited, you know, uh, by the way of wars and so forth. Uh, let's see. And, uh, and uh, this, this beast, uh, the, you know, the seven heads, ten horns, is NATO, EU. I want to get to the, uh, some more of the, you know, main uh, points. Let me see. Not not main points, like, you know, I'm just skipping over like it ain't important. All right. But this is stuff that we should know about the seven heads, the ten horns. This woman that's riding on the beast, which is America. My, America rides on NATO and EU. You know, i.e., you have, uh, what is it, uh, the EU here in America, right? It says, uh, let 
Man. Drunk with the blood of the saints. It says, verse 6, And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai. That didn't happen in the ancient world. That didn't happen in ancient Babylon where, uh, you know, you had certain Israelites that were labeled martyrs uh, for Yahweh Shai, right? And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. All right, let's go on down. Uh, let's see. Let's go on to the destruction. Yeah, so I ended with this. I can go into Revelation 18. I ended with this. Uh, damn, it's a lot of meat. Anyway, I get to the point. Revelation 17 and 15, and he said unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked. So her, the allies of America, right, of this beast will also do damage to Babylon. And shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God had put in their hearts to fulfill his will. To agree and give their kingdom unto the beast. Until the words of God shall be fulfilled. So, hey, all these prophecies will be fulfilled. So, with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom.